a platform in a similar regard, maybe a bit more niche market, but um, that's sort of why I'm on PC at the moment because I spend most of my day in VR, so I'm just yeah, no, wasting my eyes a little bit. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just sort of like, it's brilliant, it's brilliant to see what you guys are doing and, and I think uh, we probably want to get in a bit more contact with you guys, deeper contact and see how we can sort of overlap things and, and what sure. we can do together. Yeah, yeah, and hopefully maybe we can even inspire you a bit today. Yeah, sure. Well, do we have any Bill, hello. Hi, I'm Connor. I don't know if you're a desktop too. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'll give you. I'll give you a wave. Where are you from? Oh, okay. We have a few 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 Americans into us today. So I'm in all the way across the pond in Ireland, down in the a small southern part in a county called Waterford. Uh, with me, I have Trina. This is our, our marketing lead. Uh, Dylan is a guest. Sylvie is a guest, and I thought I saw Rex. Rex is wandering around with the chicken over there. Uh, yes, yeah. yes, that's me. He's bringing his chicken for a walk. Is this your first time in Engage, Bill? Cool. Oh, sweet. Okay. So, and what what is your kind of what would you like to get out of it, or what's your your main use for like education, business training, and stuff? But... Oh, sweet. Very nice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we do actually have. Um, we've had we've had a few actually from Arizona. On top of my head, we get we get we we do a lot of Americans in. Um, so even though even though this is a part of educators in VR, this is actually a weekly event we hold and engage. We do every every Wednesday from three to four uh, GMT our time. Uh, so, uh, but it, it's basically this where we just kind of bring everyone around, show them what, any questions, any features, or anything they'd like to do, um, and just kind of try to have a bit of fun and just explore a little. So, um, I'm gonna wait till ten past ten just to make sure we've given everyone a chance to kind of appear. Dylan, are, you, are we waiting on a? Yeah, Dean's uh, he's joining now. He's in the other okay, room. Okay, yeah, there's no rush. Yeah, yeah, we can. Getting it on. We can do, um, but, but as I was saying to the guys, Bill, if you have any questions or anything, just fire them straight out. And uh, what kind of um, what kind of internet requirements uh, do you guys sort of suggest? Uh, you're talking about thirty megabytes. Kind All of right, cool. Just to, to have a, a good, strong experience, like you know. Hundred um, percent, Joe. So I'm on a two hundred meg line, so I wouldn't really notice uh, any any anything funny. So I was just wondering. Yeah, yeah, I'm on a yeah. six meg line just in case that matters. I've oh, got yeah, like okay. a 0.5 upload and a six download where I'm at. So. Oh, ah, and you're, you're actually yeah, coming yeah, in. Perfectly clear, so that's you're brilliant. You're coming in clear, very yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, again, that's just a recommendation we have, but uh, I mean, if it works, it works. Uh, oh, I, it I get it. Yeah, no, you're, you're, you're right. Cool, yeah, and no, oh, thank you. Yeah, no, and we, we, I mean, that's something that we definitely is our push. Like, because I mean, you can have all the fancy bells and whistles, but if it doesn't work to begin with, it, uh, it doesn't work. But that's something we definitely, uh, we definitely aim for. Any and, and with our feature set as well. Like, I mean, even at the end of the month, we. We're doing another push and hoping that a few extra features and and even next month as well. So uh, over the next uh, next year, we're hoping to put in a lot more uh, nice, helpful features to users and, and, and stuff like you know. Um, and even now, I can you go in. Sorry, Dean, he's here. Yes, hello. Sorry, I'm late. No, no problem at all. Yeah, we're what's, we're just what's having, going on with your crouch position. Yeah. So I'd say, uh, Dean, you are VR mode. You're in, you're like me now. You're like full tracking mode. So if you go, if you open your menu, on the far right you should see you should see a VR mode, and then you should select seated mode and not full tracking, and that will give you the uh, VR mode. VR mode's on the right hand side. Then you can side, see yeah. me at at eye eye level. That way I don't look like I'm six feet tall to you. <laughs> uh, it was already on. Uh, should I set height? Uh, it could be yeah, and and even a recenter of your position. 
Uh, might help you fix your. Yeah, well, there we go. Perfect. I mean, I'm quite a bit taller than him, so he's used to looking uh, up at me. Anyway, and I kind of, I kind of. I kind of like that myself and Dean also do have the same tailor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so anyone on a quest then will see... Uh, uh, so you're on a quest, you'll see the avatars yeah. for Dean and, and Dylan all as the avatar, uh, or the Android avatar, so they're sort of smaller avatars. You will... Sylvia, you'll see me because I am host. So you'll always see the host as a full body. So you can see, you should be able to see me wave my arms. But uh, but the guy like Dean is, has most hands tracking and all uh, full bodied to, to anyone on, say, PC or, or desktop. Uh, he will have, uh, so just in case. Because, uh, Bill, sorry, did I ask you what uh, device you're on? Okay, cool. Oh, okay. So you're you're well loaded up, anyway. Okay. Well, I I think it's so. I, I said it before. We we kind of start anyway, and I'll start showing you some features. I said before, if you have any questions or any comments or anything, like you mean, don't be afraid to shout out. We kind of just take this very kind of chill and go through it and just try and demo a few things. But if anyone wants to see it and or while we're doing it, and don't don't even don't even have to wait till the end. Just just fire out your questions and. Uh, We'll uh, we'll walk through it. So, uh, as I start with, uh, as you can see, like the dinosaur, or uh, actually two of my dinosaur names here at the background. But this is from our, our catalog of IFX, uh, what we call inter-immersive FX. So, uh, all, uh, at the moment, as I'm host of the event, I have control over what a lot of you guys get and so on. So, uh, IFX is activated for everyone in the in here. So, if you want to open your uh, your menus, you should see a tab at IFX at the very top, and that will bring you into the like the database. And exactly as the the gold is flying out there overhead, um, so we've about uh, fifteen hundred plus different IFX, and I mean that can range from as you see like a, just a cow. Um, we can put in some extra video screens. So I have a I actually have a cloud uh, from my OneDrive open. It's a PDF, so I, this is the front page. So we can put an extra screen, and these can be resized. Like all IFX can be made bigger, smaller, and this happens when you have it selected in your right hand, or if you're on a desktop, it'll be with your mouse, and you get to with your analog stick on your Quest or whatever. You can just in and out, left and right. It's the mouse wheel on um, if you're on desktop, and you can actually resize everything. And that goes even for the the cow. Or, or whatever IFX, but uh, oh, where am I going here now? There's rocks appearing above me outside. Sorry, Colin. Yeah. The can I ask you a question about the, uh, the models? Are yes. they different models depending on the device that the person is using? Uh, because Sorry, the Quest obviously can be able to handle a very high resolution model. I'm using compared to other devices. For 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 us, anyway, when we build, we build both models. So uh, we build like a desktop version of the cow, and then there will be an Android version. Obviously, there's going to be limitations uh, with any, you know, compared to having a, a, something on your phone to your PC. Um, so there, yeah. you would need a, a like a sort of lower, high res version for the uh, an optimized for the Android um, okay. version. So there would always be that, but that's a limitation across the board for just technology, like you know. The, the smaller okay. headsets just won't be able to handle, like you know. But at times uh, they do. Depends on the optimization. Our, our guys here are, are very good at it now, and and it, it can be very hard to tell the difference between some ones between the Windows and the Android. Like, but um, mm. I thought I saw someone new who's after popping in here and just going to say hello. Uh, hi, Brent. How are you? You're muted at the moment. I don't know if that's a uh, if singer. But uh, welcome, anyhow. So we're just uh, going through the IFX at the moment uh, uh, options in Engage. So if, if that's of interest to you, but, but also one of the new features we have for IFX guys is um, what we call shared IFX. So uh, what I can do is if I select the cow here, I can uh, say pass it over to Dean, and now you can pick it up. You see a little, yeah, there you go, perfect. So we can pass around and, and share IFX. And uh, that's an option as well that you can turn on and off. 
Uh, so you can, if you want to bring in something that you don't want people interacting with or uh, messing around with, so we, we, we can do. And that can be said for all AFX, or I can see. And uh, oh, actually, what I'll show you as well. So I mean, they can come in like smaller uh, things like that. But we also, if I do 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 do, uh, I'm going to just change what we call the skybox. So if you look up now, it's become very. Uh, uh, spacey looking, I should say. Maybe that's a better one. Uh, so I've changed the skybox. So I've changed. This is part of the IFX as well. So there should be like a, a starry night, like the Milky Way, um, just to kind of change the tone of the scene and all. And it's just if you're building scenes where you can get kind of the hub here, and you can start adding a lot of more IFX and kind of make it what you want or more specific to what what you need. As you can see, like you can, you know, attach your screens around, and if you're doing a presentation or so on and so forth. Um, let's see if we have. Um, now we do have what we call a snapshot option for FX. So if you do build out a scene, and you're kind of like how it looks, and you don't want the bother of putting everything back together the next day, we have what we call a, a snapshot feature. So it basically just gives you the option to save everything. Uh, where it is and how it is as one kind of like just uh, main IFX. So what I'm going to just do for a second is I'm going to delete off um, all the IFX. And as the host of the room as well, uh, I have the power to uh, kind of delete all the IFX out and clear, clear the room if you know teacher is teaching something and kids are playing or whatever and you want to start again. So if I just go in there and I've saved this snapshot, and you guys also have, you know, I save, and I just literally load back in where all the IFX, uh, and this is a, kind of a, a grouped IFX shot. Now, if I do did that again, I must have, a, which I'll quickly show. This is one we created for this room, and it just go, there. It's we just call it the forest team, and it just shows how you can quickly like just take a one location and kind of make it into a, a, a different vibe or, or or whatever it is that you need it's really cool yeah, it, it does i mean uh, i'll be honest i have one of the animators in here help me do that so it's um it's uh she, she was a bit more skilled kind of designing it and coming up with it didn't, didn't seem to say what i could be but uh but it's individuals needs or whatever anyway. but you can see how quickly it can, it can become a different place and then even if i just delete that like you're it's again, we're back in a pink. Oh, oh, Chrissy. How are you? Hello. How are you? Good. I am not sure if I'm muted or not. <laughs> no, no, you're good. We can hear you. We yeah, can hear you. No problem. <laughs> All right. Welcome. Where are you from? Uh, North Carolina. <laughs> OK, we have another another American. Cool. Um, is this your first time in Engage? Or? Yes, it is. Um, Brilliant. I'm Currently using uh, my laptop for this, um, but I'll probably okay. try on a headset sometime soon. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> you're not you're the only one. We have a couple other the, the uh, people here are, are also on desktop. So I'm from, actually from immersive uh, VR education here in Ireland. Uh, I have my uh, number two or marketing lead over here, named Trina. Uh, she's behind you over here, or coming around. Uh, Every time is just a, is a, is just a guest here for for, for in, in for the day. I think we had. Thing. Uh, so everyone can say hello to to, to Kirsty. Hey Kirsty. Hey Kirsty, what's up? Hello. So um, um, just from a usability standpoint, real quick, uh, sure. if I do end up uh, needing to mute at some point, um, is it easy to do that? Yes. On so uh, yeah, if you press, if you're on your laptop, if you press Escape, uh, you'll open your menu, yes. and on the far right. Uh, you should see icons, and there's close, exit, and mic. And if you click on the mic, uh, then that's you, you muted. You're, you've self-muted yourself. All right. Thank you. Now, yeah, um, as uh, I'm, I'm host of the room at the moment, so I actually have the ability to uh, ho uh, mute people. So if you're like a teacher or someone, and the kids in the back are messing uh, and, and joking, you can you can actually go in and just mute people individually. Um, I'm going to use uh, Rex here as a guinea pig, if, he, if he's okay with that. No, no. Yeah, that's <laughs> totally fine. Uh, uh, <laughs> Just for a second. So now we'll see over uh, Rex's head. He, he's got a little red uh, red muted. I'll, br I'll bring him back here because 
that, okay, that's pretty okay, cool. okay, pretty, okay. Pretty cool, guys. He's got a pretty exactly. lot of good things to say, so we don't want to turn him off too much. But that's but <laughs> then, then you, you you know you you have the, the ability to self mute yourself and um but but I as host of the room then I can always overwrite that like you know if someone's getting rowdy or if uh, if Rex does start asking really difficult questions that I I I'm a, I always mm-hmm. answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that's the session. But we were just uh, quickly uh, again not to, to repeat myself too much. I was showing the guys, uh, Christy, what, uh, Christy, sorry, the uh, IFX that we have. So we have a, a massive library about fifteen hundred uh, or more, and we're always adding to it. Of uh, we call it different immersive IFX. So uh, if we pull out something randomly like a brown bear. And we'll do a bit to oh. like uh, change the size and all. And you do have that at the moment as well. If you want to six gate again and open your menu, you should see up in the top corner. Um, ah. Or sorry, top corner. The, the top of the thing you have a tab with IFX, and that'll bring you into the to the library, and you literally can spawn anything from there. Uh, with this, uh, you can see like and and play with it like. Uh, and we we do have a way then if you like well, I sent to the guys if you build build out a scene and you you add a lot of stuff kind of decorating and you can save it all as one massive giant snapshot uh, is what we call it so it's basically just everything grouped so I'll just load it again and uh, so this is something that we built before in and we just basically it just changes the whole room and you can see the forest and the animals out here and what we call the skybox so even the the environment it changes and all and one thing I was going to show the guys as well is if I can just, um, you might wonder why I would uh, do this. Let me search here. Um, and I can make it rain. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> so we can all run around. And obviously, from Ireland, this is our default state. Uh, <laughs> so for us, it just Same makes us feel more comfortable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. We should actually get a snow and one in as well. Uh, but yeah, it just kind of, you know, gives a different vibe or, 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 or and it can change the whole room. And then, and then again, it's like really up to the individual and how they, how they create. And like some people do in, take all the ancient uh, grease eye effects and kind of build something like that. Or you can put in a load of seats and have a more place where everyone just sits down around a campfire or something and, and so on. So yeah. I'm just going to... Should I keep my questions for the end? Because I'm like collecting a whole bunch in my head, Joe. <laughs> no, no, fire, fire, fire away, fire away. I so, mean, uh, firstly, how many people could you get in a space like this? Like, not physically, I mean, like, limitations for the network? Uh, uh, we can get up to 50 users in here, and that's like okay. including the host as well. And then you sort of uh, stop at that point, you don't let more than 50 in. Though. Yeah, yeah, like events and yeah. all are set to that kind of yeah, max sure. out. Like, yeah, that's the right, uh, limitation on that. And then uh, yeah, the no, IFX that you're talking about, can you upload your own models, or is that more? At the moment, we're we we've only introduced, and uh, if you see in the the events page uh, for this, you'll see the link to our form. Uh, yeah. So for enterprise enterprise users, yeah, we do have uh, a new system that we're just in place where you can send us the IFX or the model, and we can upload. But I said that's it's more for enterprise users, uh, and basically we take the model. And we just check and make sure it's all okay, and, and we can put it straight in. Then, and we hope to even for that we give like about forty within forty eight hours. Yeah, um, sure. I think it's the limit. But uh, yeah, so, so but uh, he, like we don't polish it or anything. So if you give us something that looks wonky yeah. and weird, yeah. and that's what you want in, then yeah, you know, and that suits the everyone. Then, but yeah, yeah, and hopefully later on it'll become we're, we're heading down the path of like uploads and stuff sure, like that, like exactly. yeah, which 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 would be the dream and fingers crossed, like. Um, but it's uh, it's how many people need it at the moment, I know. So I'm just oh, gonna yeah. clear any more, or you wanna fire, just fire questions away? Oh uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'm I'm sort of just thinking them through. So as we go. No, I'll... no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, I'll move on to some. So basically, I will bring you guys uh, to a different location then. Um, ba 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 bum ba bum. Let me see. Okay, I'm just gonna load a new ca- location. So again, as host, I, I have control of this. And uh, all you guys are going to be taken with me. So we're going to go into the courtroom. Maybe have ourselves a bit of a mock trial. Uh, so, okay. It's going to load out and we'll load in. I'll see you in a minute. In, well, 10 seconds, hopefully.
okay. I just think it's correct. So hopefully, we haven't lost them on the on transit. So sometimes the the room get updated. So you might need to just in your room might need to update before you go. And there we go. Perfect. Hi Rex. So uh, this is just one of our many locations. Uh, it's just a courtroom. It's probably more of a, an American style one than an Irish one. I, I haven't had the pleasure to be in an Irish one, so I don't, I don't think so we have a. Uh, we have these uh, objects in, in some of the rooms as well, so we can, we can uh, play around and, and have a bit of a bit of fun doing a mock trial if, if you want to go. Some of the rooms as well, they have, uh, if you see over on the wall here, there's also another one, I think. There's just these little secret toggles in some of the rooms, and they just activate certain things. So obviously, if you had a trial, and uh, I wanted to show that... Uh, Dean or someone I had videotape of him uh, eating my sandwich from lunchtime. I could uh, I could play it here and uh, mm. on, on the video. So this is a media screen. So if I bring up anything like uh, anything from YouTube or whatever, uh, I'm just going to put on the first one. Excuse me, if no no football fans in. But, so uh, I just turned down the volume as well. So you not hear it. And so and then the switch. Obviously, uh, I can hide that or, or for for need. So these these are things that we're starting to put into a lot more locations. So this is one of the first ones. There's, we also have a theater hall with a lot more uh, uh, options, like uh, different light effects and the curtains on as the theater opens and, and stuff like that. Like you know, so I'm just gonna stop that there. So uh, just while we're on media, then so yeah, so I'm gonna to give all you guys access to media. So if you open your menus now, and, and this is again as a host, uh, the power of the host is I've given everyone access to media now. I've, at the moment, it, it just works for one stream. So, like, if I'm playing something and someone else loads it, it'll play over that, like, uh, thing. But everyone uh, can go in and, uh, like, load up a, a video from YouTube or, or load up a website, and that'll play as the main the main video. But as I said, if everyone did it now, you you will all cancel each other out, and then it'll be the last person to actually to do it. But, uh, again, it's the host that has the power to to give and to take all, all that away uh, as well. And uh, not to put all the focus on Trina, but if everyone looks over at Trina, you'll see above her name, she does have the host sign as well. Because what I've done here, uh, when Trina joined the room, is like ever will be called co host. So she also has the powers of that the host has. Hi, I'm so it's Tyler. basically I'm like. Uh, Hi, my name is Jonathan. I it's basically like, like uh, if a teacher is doing something or doing a presentation and they, they want to control and stuff like say, the volume there, just someone turn it down. Or, uh, you know, they can do that in the background while I'm doing the presentation or like that. Trina has basically all the powers of the host as well. Um, yeah, so the Dean, I see there. So it works on the. The travel. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Perfect. Uh, so that that's just some little fun that we try to put in. Uh, so we have like what we call networked objects. Again, these are something which actually one of the guys is working on. So one of our new locations is going to be gymnasium, and he's working on a like a basketball. So people can kind of go in and play with that. But these are just fun novelty kind of things that we do to add to the scene to kind of just give it, make it a little bit more immersive or, uh, you know. And that's only for VR users. Desktop users can't interact with these objects. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to pick it up like that. It will work yeah. on, obviously, Quest and stuff like that. We just, yeah, sure. you don't have your hands in. Uh, yeah, 100%. And, and sort of like that, yep. 100%. Um, so next one I'm going to show is uh, what we call recordings. So. I'm going to do a quick recording. So I'm going to record everyone basically, and it just it records all your actions and then your voice and your movements and everything as you move around. It will also record like the media playing if if someone brings out IFX and stuff. Uh, you will get a warning uh, and a countdown that you're going to be just to make sure everyone knows they're uh, been recorded and uh, and just to be aware. So that's playing. So hey everyone, I'm Connor. Woo. And could you, if there were 50 people in here, did you record all 50 people? It record all 50 people. Now you do have the option, and this will play back in a second. But you do have the option when you're setting the recording to just record yourself. Yeah. Or you can individually select who you want to record. So this is yeah, actually sure. recording everyone here. So even Trina, she's in the background and she's selecting the TV and all. Uh, yeah. You see that? I'm just going to bring out right at the end of the recording uh, a big crocodile because you know, courts and crocodiles go together. Oh, that's awesome. That's brilliant. So I'm going to stop that now. And I saved that, and that's uh, that's saved at the moment into my lo until my local machine. Your, if it's you use Quest or your Vive or Picos or whatever your your thing of choice is, uh, it'll save locally to so that. Again, uh, the future we're hoping is it everything will be uploaded, and then it'll be easier to share recordings and stuff yeah, like yeah. that to, to other people. Um, 
but it's definitely where we're heading to. Um, so I'm going to set this up. Boom, boom, boom. And, and this is like a, a feature. So you so can play in. So. Fifty people. It will record all fifty people. Now you do have the option, and this will play back in a second. But you do have the option when you're setting the recording to just record. Everyone can see that, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I pause there. So this sort of like a video, uh, and you can just pause it and kind of, if you want to see how. Uh, so just out of interest, I don't, I don't think I'm seeing the the recording. Okay, maybe I'll give it a. It can depend on. The internet right now, I'm just going to see if I load it again. First, the one time I do it to be aware. So that's playing. So, fear and future, is there? 50 people. It'll record all 50 people. Now, you do have the option, and this will play back in a second, but you do have the option when you're setting the recording to just record yourself. Yeah. Or you now, can here, individually select you, who you want to record. Yeah, I don't know. This I'm is actually just recording like two everyone, of everyone here. So even it's... Trina, she's in the background. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's yeah, like yeah but that's I'm already seeing that. I'm just going to oh, bring okay. out so right here. So that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, uh, crocodiles uh, because, you know, I don't know why that is. Some crocodiles go together. Okay, I'll have to. Uh, Rex, are you are you? Can you see yourself? Yes, I can. Okay, okay, perfect. I didn't know if it wasn't working or we just have one little hiccup going on, on the line somewhere. Hundred percent. Um. So, wait, for those who can't see it, anyway, it's, you will see. So, uh, Dylan, you're actually to me, you're standing, your avatar is standing here where you we were talking. You were asking the question. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for how many people we're in, um, I always say that recording is a great way to if you if you are doing a presentation. Uh, I mean, it has a lot of uses and stuff. But if you're doing a presentation, you can kind of come in, walk up and down, give you give your presentation as you record it, stop, play it back, sit back in the audience, say, and um, just rewatch it. And then you're like, oh, actually, do you know what? Maybe I should change this, or that doesn't make sense from a, a different perspective. Or even for a teacher, if you're like given the same basic little lesson over and over again like it's a great way of just recording that you can click it on the back and go back and sit down and uh, update your facebook profile while you're actually actually technically teaching the class yeah um, that's brilliant. It, but it's, it's 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 the limiting but it does record everything like as i saying ifx uh you can be a bit more selective if you just want to to select individual users if you're just doing a small group something that you want and it won't pick up everybody else in the background um so what I do then is I'll move on to another location. Actually, what I do then, Lynn, because that didn't work for you, is I am going to give you the power of the host. So when you open your menu now, you should have a lot more options. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And in the, the top corner, you have a locations option. So you okay. can basically uh, now locations uh, do depend on some of them on if you're a pro or a light user. So some locations are locked to to pro users. Uh, sure. Unless you have a pro account, you can't now. Saying that, if you have a pro account and you load a location, everyone, even people that are not pro, will be brought with you, and you, everyone comes. Okay. So if a teacher has a pro account, they can bring all their students, and each student doesn't necessarily have to, or doesn't need then at all, need to have a, a pro account, like you know. So yeah, it, yeah. The whole account. So if you if you want to pick any room, um, yeah, all right. Uh, uh, you can, you can, you can bring it. Uh, even if it's a pro, and you can shed it out, and I'll I'll, I'll do it. Though. I'll give you the the option there to. Um, this looks interesting. This is kind of something that we mess with quite often. So let's try this. Yeah, yeah, work away. Yeah, so. Repair shop. Yeah. I've clicked it, so it says it's updating. Let's see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the the, the rooms get updated, and we are you know we're always tweaking them. So. So for for me then, say because I've been in and out of them a lot, it won't update for me. But as it updates for you, or that's why. It's so is it is it going to wait for everyone's rooms to be ready, or everyone it, to be? Fully no, no. Ready? As soon as you're ready, it'll go, and then as everyone moves, it'll update for okay. them as well. So it's individual. It, it probably won't update for me, so I'll get there possibly. You know, say that now, it probably will update for me. There we go. It's a little small, but uh, it's just something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
but it, it's just uh, like to give cool. an idea that cool. all, all, all locations don't need to be like massive or you know what I mean so there is very much specific 100%, yeah. or whatever you need like you know I just again like because you, you do suddenly feel like this is kind of small and which is cool that you do get that kind of vibe yeah no it's, it's very cool um yeah so uh, then obviously updating rooms and, and so on and so forth is uh is depending on your 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 download and all as well 100 percent, yeah what's next is there um, any way that uh, i could see the desktop share yes of course that's uh, i have it here if you just make sure i don't have any of our secrets uh, displayed on the background or my uh what i had for Sorry, I'm the guy that always asks all those no, questions. No, 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 God, no, great, great, because it, it keeps me in, and I, I, I have something to kind of bounce off, you know. Cool. Uh, so, so I'm delighted when people ask questions like, because, uh, because uh, sometimes you worry if you're talking, and because it's VR and it's like Skype or it, and it's nobody's talking, you're like, um, uh, is yeah, yeah, yeah. heard or is the like voice on? Have I, have, I, have, I, have I just have I just muted myself? And, and believe me, that's <laughs> happened to you a few times where I've been talking like for five minutes, and I actually hit mute before that. So, yeah, so I'm going to take out a screen because uh, there is no. So some, yeah, some scenes will have screens and so on and so yeah, forth. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to pull out that guy and oh, so cool. put this over here in the corner. And where am I now? So media and share desktop. There you go. So that's okay, my desktop. And then, and then you you can't control it other than with the mouse and keyboard, right? So you. I can yeah I can enable VR. So I'm controlling this now. Uh, okay. There's one of my test cases for checking yeah, out yeah. one of our. Or out at new locations, so don't pretend you didn't see that. Um, and then remote yeah, users, really, is, could you let remote users control your desktop? No, no, that's at the okay. moment. It's, it's just an old thing. I, I do have two monitors here, so you can see there's the Oculus. Yeah, yeah. It's seeing, that's the thing, but, but I can't control it for, for mouse or bring it back to. Uh, yeah, perfect. That's brilliant. Uh, and again, that's. Uh, stop sharing that. That's. Uh, now that you, you. You said you're on desktop or. Yeah, I'm on desktop. Yeah, 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 so in media, you should have, uh, you can share your desktop too, like, if that, you know what I mean? It's, it's there under the load media option. Like, yeah, so it's like a it's like YouTube or like that, and it, it appears. And as well, if it doesn't appear on, oh, hello, Max. Sorry, we have a, someone new that's just popped in. How are you? We'll give you a, a virtual handshake. Can you hear us? I'm not sure if you're coming through. Okay. Everyone from us, welcome Max anyway. Um, hey Max. Hi Max. Okay. It might take a sec to to fiddle everything. So actually I'm gonna show you something else with a device and stuff. So I'm gonna just load a little bit bigger of a location and a pretty cool one as well. If cool. I think so it's got, we're gonna go to the moon if uh I'm sure you've all been there before, so it's not gonna be uh, oh, that is actually updating for me. So, okay, ready? We're just going to load in. We'll be back in. going to make it full screen uh, and so these are just something we use because saying this, this is a weekly event and we just have a PowerPoint made up to where we can quickly go up and show people uh, oh if you press here this just makes it easier to communicate uh, for new users like uh, certain things the uh, feature so I actually have control over all the slides and uh, so this is what I was saying earlier to Dean remember when you came in the if, if this was the issue like between changing from uh, seated mode to think but yeah that definitely uh that definitely works uh, uh you just hook up your it's uh, at the moment we've dropbox google drive or onedrive and if you have a pdf or whatever or your powerpoint on that 
it'll display here. Like, but you can you can actually like uh, just display a web page. So uh, anything that you can give a second to to load. So that's Google there, just the home page. Uh, so anything that you can load up on your uh, on web, you can bring it up. And, and, and Sorry. That's all right. I'm killing it. No better. There we go. Um, Luke, can I ask you a question? Yeah, far away, yeah. You, with access to a browser, would you be able to, I mean, this is something I've been thinking about for a while. I've, I've got family members in uh, countries overseas that you'd be able yeah. to gather, watch, watch events on, on uh, streaming, or, I mean, would there not be issues regarding uh, licensing for different geographies, for instance, watching a rugby game? Um, no, like, I mean, we use YouTube, so if you just said there was a match on YouTube, uh, yeah. if I go into a thing, but I think something like Netflix or like, um, like one of the local, the, at the streaming, moment, the, like, yeah, it, it, like I said, uh, YouTube is, is built in at the moment. The, the, the limitation with that is, uh, if I play, say Netflix, I could log into Netflix in the browser, uh, only the host can hear from the browser. So the, yeah. the audio wouldn't play to everyone else. Uh, that is something though that we are going to put a change uh, to make it more accessible. Uh, like after that, then yeah, if it works in the browser, it works. Yeah. Uh, but if you have a movie or something, say on your OneDrive or something like that, and, or that works through the browser as well. So, so but it's YouTube at the moment is is where we go. So it's like that's the closest thing we could do to it. It's going to turn into it. So we should everyone should see this now in real time as it loads, but. If if it's from the browser, of course you could watch it, but the uh, audio would be the only issue. Like you know. Now saying that, uh, uh, we, it's something that we do hope to get in soon enough to 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 do that. Like because it just would make it cooler to have more cooler events and and different things for everyone to 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 wander off. But the, I'm just going to stop that. The reason I brought you guys here is just to show you something else. Um, so we do have a new and it's a fairly new option. It's called 3D audio. So it just gives you kind of more spatial audio with everyone. So I'm going to just turn that on now. So I'm going to start walking around the room. And anyone with like headphones or stuff should start to hear me moving around them in the background. Uh, I don't know how many of you have uh, the set set yeah. requests on and, and so on and so forth. But uh, it just it basically gives you the option to. Uh, and if I'm going to, if everyone can follow me out this door down here, we're actually going to go out onto the. If you go out that way, you'll end up out on the moon. Uh, and but don't worry, we do have fast enough suits for everyone, so no one has to hold their breath. So, just behind you, Dean, if you're still with us. Oh, there we go. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So if you just head out here, this door, we'll. Perfect. Oh, awesome. So, now we're all at the moon. So I don't know how many of you woke up this morning and realised that you'd be chatting to some weird old Irish guy on the moon. Um, but uh, so the spatial audio for everyone now. So what will happen is if I start wandering away and Trina can verify, you can talk behind my back and you basically... Uh, He's talking to himself over there. I can't hear you guys anymore now because I'm host. I've set it to uh, to turn off. So no matter where I go now, you guys can hear my voice, but uh, I can't hear anyone. So if anyone is actually asking any questions. Uh, but as I wander, I'm going to turn back on the audio. If you as I start to wander around and get closer back to everyone, uh, you can start hearing me again, or obviously if other people have wandered off and we, but, uh, and then, but that's just click as a host power to turn it off, and that, that just makes it, if you want to bring people into like here or Mars or any of the larger locations, you can kind of split up into groups and do sort of brainstorming, or if you're a teacher, you want to play games with the kids, you can kind of separate everyone and have smaller groups. Um, so everyone can kind of work together and, and stuff and uh, come up with ideas like and then but as the teacher or the host then you always have the option to turn it off for yourself so no matter where anyone is then you'd have a, a device to, uh, to call them in or, or return them back like you know um, that's just another one of the cool and that's that's one of our newer features that went out in our one some of our recent updates so you could force everyone back inside being the host? Um, at the moment, no, but that's something that we're hoping to come out in either this release next to the end of this month or the month after. We're, we're working on some new features like a summon, so if you're in the yeah. larger locations, you, you'll get a click. We're actually in the process of testing and polishing and working on it. <laughs> click, 
uh, in a certain area. So it'll be like the teleport option, uh, and you'll bring everybody uh, to where you want them. And also then, say, if we go to one of the, later we go to the theater room, uh, you can lock everyone to a seat. Uh, there will be two options for people to sort of force, a hard, what we call it at the moment, we're still working on the name, but a hard seat where everyone is locked to their seats or a soft seat where you just put everyone into a seat and then it's their option if they want to get up and walk around or stuff. But it's just sometimes, it's like anywhere, you you, uh, you can always get those kids, which probably, to be honest, I was one of them that would just kind of interrupt. And Yeah, I mean, something like this that's got so many things, you, you don't want people just like going off in their own mission that you want to bring them to yeah, yeah, the yeah. same. Like, yeah. It's, yeah, and again, for a teacher or something, it's nice to kind of like say we have Mars, which is another open environment that's really big. And yeah. everyone just gets in and as soon as you just run wild, like, which is great. And you want to do that, but then yeah. obviously you want to get down to business or sure. you want to teach class sure. and it's quickly to bring them all back and say, no, no, you're, you're staying here. Like, you know, um, sure, yeah. so, um, I, yes. I have a quick question. Far away. Um, as far as when you're in an environment like this, um, are you able to interact with the environment in any way? Can you create, um, interactive components? As in, as, as in, like if um, the teacher asked us to pick up this box and move it over here or something like that. Yeah, I mean, like so, like you can bring out like the, anything the eye affects. Uh, yes. So as I was showing the guys, I don't know if you were in here earlier, but so I just bring out uh, things. So all eye affects and everyone brings out. They're, they're kind of set to yourself, but we do have an option now where we what we call shared eye effects. So I've just activated the bear to be a a shared eye effect, so I go over and pick them up, and now as I hand them to you, you, ah, you, you okay. can pick up and use it. So you could have it set up that way, and if you wanted to like put out whatever different animals and for, for teaching, say, and you say, okay, which one is which, or match the two together, or you know, sort of like that. So the teacher can set it up, and I can, um, as host as well, I can turn off that option, so I can remove the privileges of you guys being able to uh, uh, to share. You know, so I'd be able to hold on to it again. Uh, you do also have the privilege of, uh, or the host option of being able to turn off IFX so only, say, the, the host or not all users can have them. But, but we do have it set up that IFX are available to everyone as they come into a room. Um, and they can, they can automatically uh, start playing with them and stuff like that. But, but if it does get a bit annoying. And we don't, we don't limit as well. So, I mean, it's, um, sorry, just watching Rex taking his fox for a walk. Um, and that's the great thing about VR. You, you see someone taking a fox for a walk on the moon. Um, it's uh, I don't even know, I lost my train of thought there. Uh, yeah, so there's no limit on the the effect. So I mean, as long as your computer, your headset can handle it, you can throw in as many and and, and keep loading them in and, and playing with them and, and so on and so forth. Does that give you a better answer? Uh, yes. Yes. Thank you. No problem. Um, um, what are the forms for? I, I've just did something that I stumbled across. I take notes. Okay. Notes so is for me to basically... take notes for myself, right? So notes yeah. are just I take notes, so, and that's for me. Yeah. Uh, well, you have notes. Yeah, you have notes. Uh, uh, forms are basically quizzes, so okay. you can try a quiz. Now this one might be a little bit out of date. I haven't updated in a while, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna throw this at everyone, and it's just gonna give you. Uh, and again, this is like recording. You can set it to like individual users. You can set it to everyone. Uh, yeah. Depends what you want. So I'm just going to set it to deliver to everyone, and okay. you should get a flash up in front of your screen there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's okay. Just, it's a uh, exploring engage one uh, quiz that we have uh, just to show people. So uh, this is all connected to the website. So if you ha if you have uh, you have a, an account, you also have on our engage VR .io. Um and so you can go in and you can create quizzes and forms and stuff in in VR itself. But uh, to be honest, I'd say it's better just to go and do it on the website. It's a lot easier and quicker, and you can set up your questions and all. And even all your uh, when you you guys all work through it and submit all your questions, um, I'll have all the stats for that like you know. So, but don't yeah, worry. Sure. I won't, uh, sure, I won't sure. judge you too hard if. Uh, Sure, sure. If you did. But it can, it can be just a questionnaire. It could be just something like, how did it go? You know what I mean? And fill out a quick questionnaire and stuff. And obviously, it's it's not as easy to change VR to type up something as, as it would. But it is, as I said, everything, the, the web and the, the OneDrive, Google Drive, Dropbox, uh, all that connection, you can do it inside here, but you can also do it through, through the website. Um, yeah. Okay. Just to make stuff easier for you, and notes as well. If you take a note here or something, so 
uh, this is one I, I I have always used. So uh, some of you were talking to me earlier. You know Chris Madsen. He's one of our business developers. So sometimes, as I say, this is a, generally is a weekly event. It's not just uh, uh, educators in VR. Uh, for us, we do we do this every week. Sometimes people have a bit more kind of businessy questions. So I always have um, Chris Madsen is is one of our business developers in America. Uh, I always have uh, his email. It's just handy in, instead of like you know uh, someone just to quickly jot down if they needed it like so so everyone should have uh, in the notes you can create any sticky note and you can uh, and again it's 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 basically like the ifx and stuff and these are just kind of things where we've added in to help like collaboration and uh, and, and working together sure. uh, yeah. but now we um, speak yep go ahead oh i was just gonna say um so you mentioned linking the quizzes or the forums um yeah. to say dropbox and things like that no sorry is sorry uh, what I mean is uh, our, so this is our built-in system, so all the submissions come into to the website. Uh, but okay. just on, the, on the website is where you can connect uh, your OneDrive. Uh, so as I was saying earlier, for with the connecting the PowerPoint uh, that I had up on the screen, uh, it's from my OneDrive, but it's just you can go into the website, and that's where you can connect your own personal one to your Engage account. account. The, the quizzes okay. and the, the, the cloud don't connect that way. Sorry, that's what it came out like. Okay. Um, is is there a potential for LMS integration with the quizzes? Yeah, um, it, it, it is something we're looking for, but again, it, it, it'll be a case of maybe like we get one or two in and it mightn't sue everyone because there is a lot of them out there. Like, uh, but it, it, yeah. it's more on, on need for the clients or, or you know, uh, but, but it is something definitely that we are, uh, we're working on in the background. And, but uh, awesome. I'm not sure, I won't say which one or which ones we're not. Or, <laughs> Do. But uh, yeah, yeah, but it's definitely something we'd like to get in, and because it's a really yeah. strong component for education as well. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, I want to take us then to uh, another location then, just to to keep it uh, mixed up. So, okay. Uh, we head over to the other rig. See you in a sec. Okay, guys. Welcome to the the little bit brighter. Um, so again, here is is more so. Uh, even though, like, like yeah, <coughs> educational like training as well can be uh, such a really powerful and handy tool for VR. So we can, you know, you can get an idea of what it is to walk around an oil rig or have a little training session or something without actually like putting us all in danger. And um, that's another great tool of VR, like, is that you can, uh, you know simulate something that generally you're not just going to go for a casual stroll around an oil rig like her. Or anything. Well, um, all right. I suppose some of your environments are animated, um, so you could sort of make things move in them and oh, like that, there's fire, those are particles, but I mean, yeah, that's, you could have uh, trains that's operating right. and doing all kinds of things, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, the, uh, everything is built for Unity, so it's like, it's a limitation of the game engine, so yeah, anything like that, it, yeah. it is possible. Like um, as I said earlier, like with the courtroom, we haven't gone to the tiered or anything, but we're, we're starting to put more like kind of options into uh, into rooms, so you'll have more you know interactive things. So, so in the tiered and all, you will have like you control the curtains, you can control the different light settings. Yeah, yeah. If you want to sit, do a presentation, or if you want to sit back and kind of put on a, a YouTube video or something, everyone wants to sit around and watch it. Like so, that is something that we are adding in. Um, Excuse me. But, how, um, how technical can my questions get? <laughs> uh, well, look, you can fire them. You can fire them at me. But uh, did, did you guys write your own networking stack, or are you using something like off the shelf? Yeah, no, it's 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 uh, not our uh, photon is our kind of a yeah, photon. Right, cool. yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, photon. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna get We're gonna have to mute you there then. No, um, awesome. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you know, that way, yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh, is, is is what we use. But for moving forward. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, that's, that's really cool to um, see. I mean, it's all put together really well. It's, um, yeah, I mean, no, I mean, look, if, if I can't answer it, I'll be straight out and honest. Uh, yeah, so yeah. You have a farm. 
uh, you do a form, you have my email is in the thing. If you can even contact sure. us, or, you know, te- yeah. the lads are always happy to uh, fire answer technical questions. Uh, so I mean, it's it's if if you can't do it here, it's definitely something just you can you ask oh, us or something, yeah. and, and we can 100%. definitely we can definitely give you an answer or, or even. Here's a simpler one. Why did you guys go for full body IK versus the Oculus sort of bust and hands? Um, it just it just it's it's more comfortable and, and it looks better and and I mean that's kind of something that we 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 pride ourselves on that we can. Like obviously the limitations of Android does the do you get the smaller one, but yeah. it's just I don't know. It just um, for me personally, um, one of the early days was I was in VR with actually one of with early developer Mike, and he was talking to a customer, and I was just standing there, and they were moving, and I, like, and I would just stand there like if I was just in real world looking back and forth between them, and it, it just suddenly like felt I was there where. Uh, and, and it was just the full the movement of his arms as he was talking and they were you know and it's just it's it's sold it for me then and there so sure. uh, but that's that's what the guys have always been about it's just it's just that uh, you know so that, that, that comes with the compliment a, immersive, is yeah. uh, you guys have done the ICA really damn well like it's it's one of the better ICAs I've seen it's yeah oh no really, and, and really that, that's really down to the team we do have some and it, it, it's some really talented guys like uh, between our animation team and our and the developers like and it, it, it is because oh, yeah. we as you're saying we've seen the others and sometimes it doesn't work as well but uh you know and, and it's something that we don't we don't rest on as well like you know we're we're always improving we're always adding we're always trying to make it better i mean the plan is to put full body avatars in android as well um yeah. again and it's it's a limitation to the android not us we'll have we more than happily flick of that course, switch tomorrow but as soon as we do and you get because we we want to keep it like you have 50 people these this is a very heavy uh thing so you know what i mean the android just would not be able to handle that like you know uh but it, but it's not something that's never going to happen like or yeah you know no, of course but it, as soon as you can absolutely yeah but you see yourself um uh, i don't have it on but you can you can upload your own face and all and uh, i think and mine is like that that's why my face looks all twisted yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you have your glasses on and all <laughs> yeah um, I forgot the but you can do and like <laughs> I said I'm in the QA side, so at this stage we've tested every. Uh, I'm a, I'm a fan of Batman, so I always have like the Two Face or Batman animated things when I'm in testing in the background just for fun yeah. and, and, and stuff like that. But again, you know, it, it just adds a nice little uh, uh, feature to like whatever you want. Like you know, it can it can be. Then, yeah. then you mentioned business developments in America. So if we wanted to speak to someone to get a bit sort of closer relations with you guys, do we? Why wouldn't we contact Ireland? Aren't you guys head offices in Ireland? Or how does head that all head work? offices in Ireland. Uh, as I said earlier, I'll whip it out there again. That's Chris Madsen. He yeah, I took a the, snapshot of that earlier. Yeah, or even if you want to, you you take a picture. But yeah, Chris would be the ideal guy and like enterprise questions and and stuff like that. And even Chris is. Uh, he has direct line to saying like our, our lead architect and all. So if you do have a technical question, you can skip the form and go to Chris and you know what I mean. He can he he he'll be able to like slack the boys and get a straight high tech answer uh, thing. And again, this is something that we do every week in in VR uh, for our side and over here supporting educators in VR and all that as well. But we we try to do, if not this if I'm not here, it's uh, my co-host Darren, which he actually is in the office here beside me. That's Darren. Yeah, Darren, we yeah. kind of take turns. We do it from week to week, so we're the kind of uh, we're the two ones. That we're always talking in the office anyway, so they kind of said we may as well, we may as well put you to good use um, <laughs> and so on and so forth. So if it's not me, it's him. But Darren is a, a, an excellent host as well. You'll have, you'll have a good fun time with him. Uh, he's actually on tomorrow. He's doing the, yep. this, this thing tomorrow, and then I'm back on on Friday again. But if uh, if any of you guys uh, think, but it that's just coming to the end of our hour, guys. So I mean, if you have any more questions you want to just fire up before we uh, we finish up, uh, you can fire. But other than that, we'll. Uh, yeah, I think I'm signed up for the one at six o'clock, which is the SDK. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. There's other events going on as well. If you yeah, follow up, sure, and uh, Trina, you're probably best to. Uh, yeah, there's actually there's one with our lead animators straight after this at four o'clock, and he's going to do a actually, content creation workshop. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's actually, the one that yeah, I'm really joining. That's for, the one I'm joining. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Kirsty, if you're still, Kirsty, sorry, if you're still here and you're looking for kind of more teaching things and stuff like that, that'd be a great one for you to jump in on. Uh, if you want to see what the the content creator and that's actually been worked on and built out, and we're hoping for a really cool thing like that. So I'm going to stop because Dave will be starting his one, and I don't want to take too much away from him. So guys, it was an absolute pleasure to hang out, and hopefully uh, we all learned and laughed and loved together. So. Uh, again, this is, brother, yeah, thank you, yeah, thank so you so much. We'll see you around. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs>
Chair? It's probably Trina. If, oh, and Trina will answer that. She's her, She's gone. Uh, no, you're not. Can't hear you, Trina. Yeah, we think that sure. she's. Oh, oh, there you go. Now go ahead, Trina. Yeah, can you hear me? Uh, I yeah. think that might have been a mistake on their website, but um, we can double check it. I don't think we have an event with him. I think that might be in a different platform. I don't, yeah, I don't think it's connected to, to, to engage. So we'll just double check it. If okay. you're on the Discord, are you on the Discord channel with educators and viewer? Okay, because that's how you can reach out to them directly if you wanted to ask them a question. No, I, it, yeah, it, it, it doesn't. It doesn't sound familiar anyway. No, I don't think it is in in, in engage. Okay, Bill. Yeah, have a good day. All right, bye bye. <laughs>